What's going on, Fit Fam? Welcome on back to my channel. It is 7:30 a.m. here in beautiful Puerto Escondido, Oaxaca, Mexico, and I'm about to dive into my little breakfast here, which I just showed you guys. It's this cottage cheese on toast, and then a little bit of protein coffee. These are some new discoveries that I've made recently of how to get a little bit more protein in first thing in the morning. Just putting a tiny bit of cottage cheese on bread. I know it looks kind of gross, but it actually tastes really good, and it's a really easy way to get super lean protein. And then another thing I started doing is adding protein powder straight into my coffee which is so good it literally makes it taste like a chocolate mocha and then again you're still getting a little bit more protein instead of having to use like a sugar you can just use a chocolate protein powder instead so you can see it's already 20 grams of protein just for this little breakfast snack this morning so in today's video I'm gonna take you through everything that I'm eating in a day it's an upper body day so I'm eating just over 2300 calories so that is the amount I'm eating for my upper body days and rest days at the moment and then for my lower body days I'm doing 2500 I have three lower body days two upper body Bodies and then two rest days. So I'm gonna also take you along with me to the gym and just show you what I'm doing in my upper body. And then what we're gonna actually talk about in the video is how often do you need to eat? How many times a day do you need to eat? Intermittent fasting, how to balance your hormones and tips to hit your macros. All of these kinds of nutrition questions that I get asked a lot, I'm gonna answer for you in today's video so that you're going to know my top hacks, my favorite tips for how to make it easy to get enough protein, carbs, and fats, how to spread out your meals so that you're gonna feel really full really satisfied throughout the day and best of all so that you're going to actually hit your goals you're going to lean out build that sexy muscle definition and stay this way with ease the rest of your life while feeling amazing so if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that like and subscribe and if you're coming on back thanks so much for joining for another video and let's get into it all right fam so let's talk about does when you eat how frequently you eat the timing your meals all of that does it actually matter is it going to affect your results when you eat how frequently you eat technically doesn't really actually matter that much because the only thing that actually matters is that you're hitting your macros, your specific protein, fat, and carb targets that you require to reach your dream body and goals. So if you don't know the amount of protein, fats, and carbs you should be eating, then go check out this video because I walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to calculate them and how to continually adjust them as you go throughout your fitness journey because you don't just set them once and then never change them. As your body is changing, as you're getting stronger, you're putting on more muscle, you're decreasing increasing your body fat, you're going to need to slowly start eating more and more food. So that video is going to walk you through how to do it. So bottom line is just hit your macros. How you do that is up to you. However, I am going to walk you through a couple of my top recommendations and tips just to make that easiest and also kind of the best biohacking friendly thing you can do for a healthy internal body, balanced hormones, all that good stuff. So it doesn't really matter how many times you eat throughout the day. However, I do recommend that most women follow the breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack model. So three proper full meals a day and probably a fourth snack, or it could even be a fourth kind of mini meal, or it could even be as much as four meals a day and a snack. So eating five times a day, it's really going to come down to the total amount of calories that you're eating. If you're still eating less than 2000 calories a day, which you should be getting to eventually, but you're going to work your way up to it. Then three meals a day plus a snack or four meals is definitely, I think enough. But if you're getting to the point where you're over 2000 calories a day, you might need to start considering four meals a day and a snack or just eating five times a day. That's what I'm personally doing. You're going to see in this video that I'm eating five times a day because I'm eating 2,300 to 2,500 calories a day. So that's a lot of food. It would just be hard for me to eat it all in only three or four sittings. Now, a really good way to spread that out is to make sure that you do eat something very first thing in the morning. You want to be eating within one hour of waking up because that is what is going to make your hormones optimal. It's really stressful on the body to go for an extended period of time without eating because then it thinks that food is scarce. It has to slow down its digestion. It has to slow down its metabolism. So we don't want to be doing that. We want to signal to the body that food is abundant and that it is safe for it to burn its fuel. Now, I know so many women are used to skipping breakfast. So you please need to stop doing this. It is so bad for your hormones and it's also going to imbalance your blood sugar, which is going to end up causing energy crashes and just feeling really fatigued later throughout the day. And I know you might be saying, but I just don't don't get hungry. I'm not hungry in the morning. I'm not hungry until like noon. And even if you are not actually getting the signal that you are hungry, still make an effort to eat a little something because not getting your hunger cues is a sign that your hormones are imbalanced and that your body is very stressed. So even if you don't mentally feel stressed, it doesn't mean that your body is not stressed. And when your body is stressed, when it thinks that food is scarce, when it thinks it's not safe, that's really going to get in the way of your ability to lose fat and gain muscle the way that you want to. So we 
have to kind of show your body that it is safe to eat food by forcing you to eat even if you don't necessarily feel hungry for it. So it doesn't need to be anything crazy, but just eat a little something in the morning. Ideally get something that also has some protein in it. For example, like what I was eating this morning, the toast with the cottage cheese, that's a really good hack to get a little something in your body and just get your blood sugar stabilized and get some energy for the day. It can also be something like Greek yogurt with some fruit and peanut butter. It can be a protein shake, or you can add the protein powder to the coffee like I'm doing. Obviously you can have some eggs and toast, whatever you want, just get some protein in. And speaking of coffee, by the way, please do not have coffee on an empty stomach. I know I'm guilty of doing that for years because I didn't know any better, but when you have coffee on an empty stomach, it's going to get rapidly absorbed into your bloodstream and that's going to spike your cortisol. So again, this is gonna be stressing out your body, which we do not want to do. We want your body to feel stabilized and at peace. So please make sure to eat at least a little something and then have your coffee. And that's why you always see me doing that in these videos that I'm having my toast or I'm having my fruit very first thing and then I'm having my coffee and adding in the protein powder, which makes it taste so good and then also helps me get more protein. So no coffee on an empty stomach. Make sure to eat at least a little something very first thing in the morning. Now you might be wondering, but what about intermittent fasting? Obviously that is very popular at the moment and I still get asked a lot of the time if that is what you need to be doing to get fit. Personally, I am really not a fan of intermittent fasting because it encourages that you do the opposite of what I'm talking about here. It encourages that you wait a really long time before you eat in the morning, which is not optimal for women's hormones. So I would strongly recommend that you do not do intermittent fasting. Just make sure to actually hit your macros and eat throughout the day. As long as you're hitting your macros, that is what is going to guarantee you get results. That's the other problem with intermittent fasting because even if you're restricting when you eat, it still doesn't change the fact that you require to eat a specific amount of protein, carbs, and fats. And if you are not hitting those targets, it's not going to matter that you shorten the time that you're eating in. You still need to make sure you're hitting your macros. So this is why intermittent fasting doesn't actually really do anything for you. So there's no reason why you should do it. Honestly, it's just one of these current fads, just like everything is, you know, back in the eighties and nineties, low fat was the craze. And then into the two thousands and up till now, everybody's been demonizing carbs and saying keto is the way. And intermittent fasting is kind of the newest thing that people are like, this is the thing, but it actually isn't. As long as you hit your macros, that is what is going to determine that you get results. And obviously that you're strength training, that you're lifting weights to build muscle in the gym or at home, because that's also what you need to do to get results. Okay. So on the topic of eating very first thing in the morning, you might be wondering, but what if I want to work out very first thing in the morning? So let's talk about your pre-workout meal and your post-workout meal, or not even necessarily a meal, but just the food you eat before and after you're working out. So even if you work out very first thing in the morning, I still strongly recommend that you eat just a little something before you start your workout. So even if that's just, again, some toast with cottage cheese, or maybe it's going to be like a protein shake, some hard boiled eggs, some bananas with peanut butter, just get a little something in your body. Because again, you want your body to have access to some fuel to support you through that workout. You're going to be able to perform a lot better when you have some energy in your body. Now, if you are not working out very first thing in the morning, then you should absolutely be making sure that you have food in your body before you go and do your training. So this should be anywhere from 30 minutes before your workout up to about maximum two hours before. If you're going to go work out and you haven't eaten within the last two hours, I promise you, you are going to notice it in your workout because you're going to be crashing. You're going to get so hungry. You're not going to have energy. You're going to get the brain fog. So just don't do it. Your body needs to have readily accessible fuel that it can draw on so that you're going to be able to push yourself appropriately in your workout and actually build that muscle. So the most important thing to make sure that you eat before your workout is carbs. And this is because carbs are your body's quick access source of fuel. Fat is also a source of fuel for your body, but it digests so much more slowly than carbs. So carbs get stored as glycogen inside of your muscles. So when you're going and working out, your body is going to pull on the glycogen stores in your muscles to give you quick access fuel to get you through that workout. So this is why it's really important to make sure you're definitely getting carbs in before your workout. And I would also recommend getting some protein just so you are going to have that fuel in your body because when you're training, you're going to be breaking down your muscle tissue. And that is why you get sore after a workout. And then to repair and regrow that damaged muscle tissue, your body is going to need the protein because it's the building block of muscle. So make sure to get some carbs, especially, and also some protein. So this can be whatever you want. It can be oatmeal with some protein powder. It can be eggs and toast. It can be chicken and rice, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure to get some food in before you're going to work out. And then for your post-workout, this is the most important meal of the day because obviously now you've gone, you've trained, you've exhausted your body, you've torn your muscle fibers. So your body absolutely is going to need some fuel to recover from the workout you just did. So again, the most important things to eat are your carbs and your protein. 
protein. Carbs is because you obviously would have just used the carb stores that you have, the glycogen stores in your muscles. So now they're depleted. So we need to replenish those glycogen stores. And trust me, if you are not eating carbs after your workout, you're definitely gonna notice it because you're gonna get insanely hungry because your body's gonna be like, hello, where is that glycogen? We need to replenish here. So make sure to get some kind of carb source in. And then of course, you definitely also need to be getting protein in. I'd say it's even more important to get the protein in after your workout than it is before because after your workout, you've now actually torn the muscle fibers so you have that muscle damage and it really needs to be repaired so that you're actually gonna grow the muscle and speed up your metabolism, lose more fat, balance your hormones and stay this way for the rest of your life. So again, any kind of protein and carb is gonna work here, doesn't matter, just pick anything. And you wanna be eating somewhere between 30 minutes up to maximum two hours after your workout. But I honestly think after your workout, you're just naturally going to get hungry because obviously you just pushed yourself hard. So it's gonna be very, very likely, even if you're somebody who normally doesn't have hunger cues, that you actually are gonna get hungry after your workout. So just kind of eat when you feel hungry. And I think that should be relatively within an hour after working out. So just make it an actual meal and make sure that there's those carbs and protein in the meal. Now, speaking of your meals in general, when you eat, you really wanna think of it as a complete meal, as opposed to little random one-off snacks here and there, meaning you don't wanna eat just one macro at a time. You really wanna combine all three macros and some micros in a meal together. Your micros are your micronutrients, meaning your vitamins and minerals. So this is your fruits and vegetables. So you wanna have some sort of fruit and vegetable with every single meal, and then one of each of the macros. So protein, carbs, and fat. When you combine all four of those categories, that is a complete meal. So that is the way you wanna to aim to eat the vast majority of the time. If it's more of a snack, sometimes you can maybe have a one macro missing or maybe one micro missing, but generally try to not eat just naked carbs, for example. So try to not only have a banana on its own, for example, still try to make it a banana with peanut butter. So at least then you're balancing it out a little bit better because when you eat carbs on their own, they're gonna digest a little bit more quickly and it's gonna spike your blood sugar. So this isn't bad, carbs are not bad, you absolutely need them, but it's just ideal that they get digested with protein and fats because the way that the macros get digested together in your body is very different than when you eat them just on your own. So you wanna make sure that you're getting a little bit of everything. Okay, and then the last point I'm gonna clear up that there's still a lot of confusion around is if it is bad to eat close to bedtime or if it's bad to eat after 7 p.m. or whatever it is. And the answer is technically no, it doesn't matter. I myself have eaten very close to bed many, many times. In fact, I used to eat an entire bowl of oatmeal right before going to sleep just because I found it hard to get all my carbs in before that time. So I just literally had to eat before going to bed. So again, when you eat, even if it's before bed, is not going to make a difference so long as you are actually hitting your macro targets and how you do that, the exact time you do that is up to you. The only thing I will say about eating close to bed is it's not that somehow eating close to bed is going to make you magically gain fat. As long as you're eating the right amount, that's all that matters. But eating close to bed can potentially interfere with your quality of sleep because since your body is going to be busy digesting food, it's going to stay a little bit more awake than if it wasn't busy digesting food. So that is just one potential caveat, but don't overthink it too much. It's not a huge deal to eat close to your bedtime. And it's not somehow gonna just magically make it that you gain body fat the way that so many people think. Okay, so that's everything you need to know about when to eat, how frequently to eat, breakfast, intermittent fasting, pre post workout, all this good stuff. So don't overcomplicate it. So long as you're hitting your macros, that is what matters. And that is how you're going to guarantee that you see results in addition, obviously to getting strong in your workouts and building that muscle. So now I'm gonna take you through everything else that I'm eating today. You're gonna see that I'm eating five times today because I literally have to in order to get all of my food in. And then I'm also gonna take you to the gym and smash some upper body. Let's go. All right, I'm getting pretty hungry now. So I'm gonna eat my first real meal. So we're gonna do some eggs and toast. I normally want to put some spinach in here to get some veggies, but I haven't had any. I've been kind of slacking on the vegetables actually, so I really need to step that up. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this up and then go train.
Okay, she's back from the gym, very sweaty. So I'm just gonna put on some chicken pasta to cook and get a bunch of protein and carbs in because we need to refuel after we lift so we can actually build some muscle and speed up our metabolism. Okay, so I'm still pretty hungry because I still have quite a few calories to eat left today. So I'm literally just gonna eat three bananas and then put a little bit of peanut butter on that. I know that seems like a lot, but I have to eat so many carbs in this growing phase that I'm in. So just slamming bananas is a really easy way to do that. And I really enjoy it with peanut butter. So I'm gonna have that as a snack right now. but it's yummy and it does the job. Okay, so I'm gonna make my last meal of the day, which is gonna be some crispy fish tacos. So delicious and so easy to make. So I have some fish fillets here. You can literally use any kind of fish, it doesn't matter. Just chop it up. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of this, which is like a coconut flour. So you can use literally any kind of flour, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna just add tiny bit of olive oil and I also have some garlic salt so any spices you want mix that all together and add it in the air fryer so the air fryer is literally amazing for getting crunchy chicken crispy chicken crispy fish getting that satisfaction that you would normally need to get something deep fried for but instead this is so healthy so I absolutely love it and then I already have some tortillas so I'm gonna use two of those and then I'm just gonna chop up my own guacamole slash salsa and that's gonna be that so I'm gonna show you how I do it Right fam, so there you have it. Those are my two crispy fish tacos for dinner. So delicious, give this recipe a try, you won't regret it. All right fam, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for checking it out. I hope you got some helpful ideas from this video and some recipe inspo. Comment down below if there's anything else that you wanna see from me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.